Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another tkinter with Python tutorial for making windows and GUIs. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is how we can add pages. So, like I was saying before, this whole part, I mean, this was a lot of stuff that you got thrown at you. But basically, we've got a baseline here of how we're going to display pages, and now we're going to be talking about how we can add a bunch of pages here and make it really easy. So as promised, this will be significantly easier than what we did before. Uh, we will have to change a slight bit of code right in here, basically, um, to make the back end work with multiple pages. But you'll see what I mean, and then adding new pages is really, really simple. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to start here in start page. So in start page, um, since we're going to have multiple pages, generally you want to allow for some sort of navigation, right? From page to page, that only makes sense. Um, so we're going to add a button that is going to allow the user to go to another page. So we're going to say here, um, button one, and button one is going to equal tk.buttoon, not three t's, just two. And don't forget your capital B there. And so button one is going to be the object that's returned from this tkinter button um, here. And as usual, we pass self through it. And then we're going to pass text. And text is going to be uh, visit page one. OK, so this is the text that's going to go on the button. Then what we're going to do is comma. And then um, uh, the other thing that a button has is a command. So you can pass through a command. And so for example, um, we would have command and command, um, we can say command equals, and then you can equal a function. So just to give you a really quick example here, I'm going to make a, a quick function. Uh, feel free to follow along as well. But we'll say define um, qf for quick function, empty parms, print, and then you did it. OK. So we can use that as a, an example command here. So we can say uh, tk .button self text equals visit page one, and then the command we can say command equals uh, qf. Then, um, as usual, we have to pack this button. So, um, or or you could use grid, but we need to add it. You know, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and use pack because we just have a few really simple stuff here. So I'm just gonna say button one dot pack. Right, easy enough. Okay. So now, uh, when we go to run this, you're going to see that we have a slight issue. Uh, well, not this one, but you'll see eventually we'll have a slight issue. So here's our little window. Uh, it's too little. Oh, goodness. Let me bring it back. Here we go. I noticed that in my videos, if I enlarge these windows as I'm recording, it makes it go crazy. Um, if you're prone to seizures, close your eyes for a minute. But when I make it big like this, for whatever reason, that makes my video recorder really mad. Um, anyway, I've brought it back down for you seizure folk. So now we see start page. And when they click visit page one, it prints out you did it. So obviously, we ran that function. But here's the kicker. What if What if we want to do uh, QF, and then we want to say uh, QF, and then, print, and then um, you know string to print is our parameter. And then we really just want to print out whatever the string to print happens to be. So you might think to yourself, well, here's what I'll do. I'll do this, and then I'll do uh, string to print as uh, yo. Well, what happens here is we'll go to run it, and you see it just prints out yo, yo, yo immediately. And of course, you know we can hit visit page one, and it does absolutely nothing. And so that's no bueno. So what what happened here? Um, the way that this command works is it's going to run this basically because you're calling the function. It's actually going to run this function on load, and then it just it's not going to work after. So there is a, a slight way that we uh, can get around that using lambda. So um, so what lambda is going to allow us to do is is kind of like hack our way uh, hack our way around this. And what lambda is going to allow us to do is create like a quick throwaway function. But it's only here when we call it, so it's not going to run immediately. Okay, so um, the only major downfall here is if that function returns something, uh, and then saving that sometimes is, is problematic. But also just the inherent problem with a throwaway function. Um, but you'll you'll see that in a minute. Um, well, not in a minute. Uh, quite a few videos probably. But anyway, you'll see it eventually. 
Um, so what we can do instead is we can use lambda though, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this down to a new line. So after this comma here, I'm just gonna hit enter, and then we're gonna say command equals and command is gonna equal lambda, and then you do colon space, and then uh, what we could do, for example, did I get rid? I guess I deleted that function. Um, let me just show you really quick. Let's define qf um, param, and then we'll say print. Uh, param so qf print param and then here button tk button uh, lambda and then you can do something like this like you could go um, qf and then param and that should allow you to get uh, get away with that there there's uh, the other thing that's going to be a problem is when you go to pass like oops pass variables through so when you're because of what we're doing here when you if you wanted to pass a variable through or like even do like some other complex stuff. It's just not going to work. Um, but you, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Oh, and we need to change param into see this worked like that. So let's go ahead and save and run this really quick. We get start page. It didn't print anything out, and we can click this and see see this worked. So then we can you know build this function here to actually do you know whatever we need it to do. Um, and this is just a way that we can go about doing that. So um, so there's another use for lambda. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we'll, we'll delete that function, and uh, and I think I'll probably just cut the video off here, and then we'll be talking about you know adding a new page and all of that. Um, but obviously, this is a really integral thing that you need to know because um, bringing another page, we have to run things through here and all that, and so that's how we can how we can run things. So. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and stay tuned to the next video.